Hi, you just moved into the dormitories in the Olympic Village and don't know how to connect to the internet? We have all been there. Today we're going to show you how to set up your router to access the internet in Olidar. The easiest and fastest method is to buy a fully configured router during our office hours. If you decide to buy a router and configure it on your own, this tutorial will guide you through the configuration process. You should be careful with the router you buy because it must be a WAN access point router and not, for example, a DSL router, since these are not compatible with the network in Olympiadar. For this tutorial, we're going to use a TP-Link router, which is also one of the routers we're selling in our office. There are different router models out there and the configuration windows, router's link or IP address, and login information may differ, but the principle is the same. You will need the network data sheet from the student service or student back, a router, an Ethernet cable, and the router's power adapter. You can also bring it to us and we can configure it for you. You can connect your router by using an Ethernet cable or connecting it through Wi-Fi. For the first method, you should only plug one end of the Ethernet cable in one of the yellow ports and the other end on the laptop. Otherwise, if you don't want to use the Ethernet cable, we will show you how you can connect the router through the Wi-Fi. On the back of the router, you can find the name of the network and the password that you should write to create a connection between the router and the laptop and to make the internet connection possible. After getting to know the name of your internet connection, you should search for it and then type the password that is also given on the back of the router. After writing the right password on the right network name, the device should be connected even though the internet connection is not configured yet. To access the configuration page, you should find a link or IP address at the back of your router. Once you open the web page, you'll be asked to set a username and password. You can choose them freely. If you're prompted to log in and you don't know the username and password, you can Google the default ones for your router or reset your router completely. Once you log in, press on Network and then one. When the page opens in one connection type, choose static IP. New fields will pop up and there you can enter the data you have in the network data sheet you got from the student services or student embed. In the secondary DNS, you can either enter the second DNS in the datasheet or use the Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 Once you enter the data, press save and wait for your router to apply the changes. After that, your router will be able to connect to the network and you'll be able to use the internet. If you have any questions or need support, you can send us an email or stop by during our office hours. 